Welcome, welcome back at I need help at C square. In this example, we need to find the volume and the surface area of the prism below. And if you notice, the base of this prism is a triangle, triangle ABC or triangle DEF. We call this a triangular prism. The volume of this triangular prism is going to be area of the base times the height. In fact, that formula works for any prism. Well, let's take a look to area of the base, and in this case, as I said, the base is a triangle. The area of a triangle is one half times the base of the triangle times the height. And in this case, we notice the angle B is a right angle. So that means this is the base of the triangle and this is the height or vice versa. So we have 1 over 2 times 12 times 18. I can simplify here by 2. So I have 6 times 18. So area of the base will be 6 times 18 which is 108 square units. Now we can go back in the original formula, volume equals area of the base, which is 108, times the height of this prism, which is this 20. And the final answer will be 2160 cubic units. This is the volume of this triangular prism. And now I'm going to move to the second part where we need to find the surface area and do notice the formula here. The surface area is the lateral area plus two bases. And the two bases are the bottom and the top of this triangular prism. And we found that base, that is 108. So we just multiply by two when we need that. But let's take a look to the lateral area. And the lateral area here has three rectangles. The first one is the one here, E, F, C, B, which is 18 by 20. The second rectangle is the left side of this triangular prism, D, E, B, A, which is 12 by 20 also. And we have one more face, the front one, which is 20 times this side AC, if you want to call it like that, which you do not know it. I'm going to call it X. So we really have to find that X first. For that reason, I'm going to go on that right triangle. Triangle ABC. This is the right angle. This is 12. This is 18. I'm going to need to find that X. And if you remember, for finding the uh, the hypotenuse, we need to use the Pythagorean theorem, a squared, which in this case is 12 squared, plus b squared, which in this case is 18 squared, equals c squared, which in this case is x squared. 12 squared is 144. 18 squared is 324. We're going to add these two values. That will be 468. And the last step here, I'm going to take square root of 468, which in a simplified form is 6 square root of, square root of 13. So now we can go back here and say, hey, the lateral area will have one more phase, which is the uh, the one here where x is 6 square root of 13. And the other side of this face, the rect rectangle is 20. So let's simplify here. 18 times 20. That is 360. 12 times 20 is 240. 6, times, 6 square root of 13. 13 times 20, that is 120 square root of 13. So the last thing I'm going to do here, 360 plus 240, that will be 600 plus 120 square root of 3. And this is the lateral area. So for finding the surface area, I'm going to take this lateral area. 
and I'm going to add two bases, 2 times 108. So that will be 600 plus 120 square root of 3 plus 216. So the final answer for the surface area will be 816 plus 120 square root of 3. And this is the exact answer. If you need an approximation, you use a calculator and put it in square root of 13, in fact. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back and see square for more help. Thank you.